Hey, this is Marvin at First Presbyterian Church in Columbia, and today's Spirit of Summer word for Thursday, June 24th is flip-flops. You know, flip-flops uh, and sandals are the perfect uh, toe wear and footwear for summertime. They keep your feet cool and breathable on top while protecting your soles from hot pavement or hot sand at the beach or the hot feel of concrete as you go to the swimming pool. Now, uh, in the days of the Bible, most people did wear sandals. That was a very common form of footwear, although they were different than the sandals that we have today. They weren't made out of plastic or uh, foam rubber. Uh, they were The soles were made out of leather or wood even, and they were uh, kept attached to your foot by leather straps in different varieties and shapes and sizes. And there's a really famous story about sandals in the Bible. It comes from the Old Testament book of Exodus. And it's a story about Moses, who was a shepherd in the desert. He was with his flocks one day, and he saw a strange sight. He saw a bush that was burning, but the bush wasn't consumed by the flames. I guess it was sort of like a, a ancient Near Eastern version of uh, these um, artificial logs that we have in our fireplaces. Well, anyway, he wanted to get a closer look at this uh, burning bush. And when he went closer to the bush, he heard a voice that said, Moses, take off your shoes, take off your sandals, because you're standing on holy ground. And it was a voice from God. So Moses took off his sandals. And, you know, sometimes uh, we take off uh, our sandals or our flip-flops or our shoes for different reasons, maybe because we don't want to track mud or dirt into the house. But, of course, Moses is outdoors, so that's not a problem. Uh, maybe it was uh, to show respect that Moses was asked to take his sandals off. But I think that it has something to do with this phrase, holy ground. In the Bible, the word holy is applied to people or to objects that are set aside for a special use or for a special role or a special purpose. And God is getting ready to set aside Moses for a special calling. God is going to call Moses to the task of leading God's chosen people out of slavery in Egypt and into the promised land. And so it's as if Moses needs to be in direct contact with the divine without any barrier, like a, like a, a sandal, in order for him to be set aside for this holy and meaningful call and purpose in his life. So I'd like you to think about your own journey with God, your own uh, sense of being called and claimed by God for a special purpose. God has a calling for you. God has a, a mission for you to accomplish in life. So think about what it might be that in your life that would be a barrier between you and God that would prevent you coming in full contact with the divine. It might prevent you from hearing and understanding and responding to calls God's call and claim on your life. Think about that and, uh, and, and get rid of that. Um, keep your sandals on. Keep your flip-flops on this summer if you're going to the beach or if you're going to the pool because you, you don't want to burn the soles of your feet. But think about what is the holy purpose that God has in store for you? And what is it in your life that might be a barrier to you realizing or achieving that holy purpose? Take that off. Set that aside. And listen for God's call and respond, yes, when God calls you. Take care and have a great Thursday, June 24th.